What's up, YouTubers? Awkward Merc, we're back again. Episode 15, HBFADC. Thank you for joining us. As always, I have my uh, beautiful and lovely co-host, Pat, here. You fucking fruit. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Pat here, Expendable Merc. And uh, this week we brought in an actual uh, popular, an actual cool, uh, he's actually gay er than snow. Pandas? <laughs> gayer than snow. No one's gayer than snow. This is a lot different than the last one we just recorded. <laughs> <laughs> the I... tone has switched so fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know how I do. Hi. There, yeah. better? That's better. I like it better. Yeah. It's soft. Uh, it vibrates my ear holes. I can't believe you even considered snow any kind of popular in any kind of guest form. I didn't. Pat did. <laughs> hey, Patricia. he asked. You said okay. It's not really my show. It's yours. No, no, no. I, I demanded to be on this. I demanded. I said I'm gonna be on it. <laughs> and he is on it immediately. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like but... internet rape. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is like sexual harassment to a whole new level. Not really. Kinda. Um. All right. Uh, we brought pandas on because I like pandas opinions on a uh, YouTube, and he's a lot more forthright with his opinions and everything. So I brought them on so we can talk about those and explain them a little better. We can have conversations. That's the show we do. Comedy podcast gaming show. Still working, yeah. on, the, still working on the category. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, I want to talk to you about your uh, your recent video where you talked about the YouTube community and uh, how it's YouTube has actually kind of changed and, and almost ruined Call of Duty and online gaming in general. It did ruin Call of Duty. I, I, I agree with you with that statement. There's no doubt in my mind. I mean, how many times have you seen, like, some fucking tactic being used on a YouTube video, and then you go play that at night, and there's some fucking kid already doing it. You know, it's. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, sorry. You know, Galileo silence and ghost didn't come out of nowhere. You know. <laughs> so. I know. Yeah. I, uh, did the same. I'm going to do the same thing. I just watched somebody do an M14 video, and I was like, I'm going to try that out. Of course. Yeah, M14 that's how, that's how pissed me started. off last night. I got raped by that gun. <laughs> it was <laughs> pissing me off. Like, like you think that um, danger? Like you think people? on Xbox were actually smart enough to figure out one man army danger close noob tubes. No. Oh fuck no dude. I'm on that community. I know. Nope. Negative. They got Negative. that from White yeah. Boy Thrust. Yeah, or well, I saw Tave doing it in a video too. Yeah. And then I and then I saw Blame Truth doing it in a video, etc. 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 And then uh you know every fucking nine year old on the face of the earth started doing it. And that's it. I know I love it. I actually really I agree with most of that. Yeah. Um and the other way, it's kind of opened me up to this whole new sub-community of online gaming, though. That's I, that's the one good thing that's come out of YouTube. I mean, uh, it did it did the same thing for me. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I've met a lot of people because of it. But, you know, at the, at the same time, um, you know, I, I really miss the days like when I first got Modern Warfare 2 and I would only play with um, people that I knew like in real life that I went to high school with. But Oh, yeah. You know... Um, the same, like I said, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I've I've met a bunch of fucking cool people. You know, and Merck knows most of them too. And you know, I met them because of this because I found a certain big YouTuber's JT TV who I never say his name because I don't drop his name. But um, <laughs> I met, you know, I, I I got to know him a little bit, and then I met other people. Well, I met other people first, and then I got to know him a little bit. And I wouldn't know any of these people without YouTube. But you know, like I said, it was a lot more fun before. You know, I mean, I think I, I think it was more fun. Like, I still have fun doing it now, but I think it was more fun back then, or funner. I don't know how the fuck you say it, but more fun. You're right. You were yeah. right the first time. So, yeah, yeah YouTube's I, actually yeah, what go got ahead. me to meet you, Panda, because uh, that's where I met uh, Rocco and Boston and Ghost and stuff, and that's when you know I sat to play with them, and then I played with you, and then we all kind of, you know, well, we, same. we hang out. And stuff, yeah, same you know? same thing. You know, that's yeah. uh, I I first got into that. I first got into that chat because I was bored at work one day, so I'm like, fuck it, let me go in there. And so then that's when I started talking shit with everybody, and then I started playing. I think the first person I played with was Rebel, and then it yeah, just went, same. went from there. Yeah, Yeah. Hmm. Oh, sorry. So. I, I'm uh, looking up topics on my phone. I write a lot of the shit down on my phone and when I'm at work, and then I bring it up in the, podca the podcast. Yeah, but um, what's, thing. What, what's it work for? For doing internet shit, of course. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what it sounds like from, from this group of people. 
Uh, yeah, but I, 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 same thing for me. I remember getting home and playing Modern Warfare 2 and being so fucking excited to get home and play that game. And we had a clan. That's how Pat and me met through a gay ass clan we were in. And, uh, fucking faggots! I know. We, we played, wow. we, that's how we hung out. We played, and I couldn't wait to get online and play. And now it's kind of ruined. <laughs> what a bunch of queers. Bunch of I, I would do my little, my little clan, and that's how I met my little internet friend. <laughs> You'll never be my internet friend. <laughs> I don't want to be. Ruined your chances. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, since you're uh, somewhat bigger than, well, considerably, considerably bigger than us on YouTube. Um, in more you have, ways than one. Well, you're like four times, five times bigger, and that's just in YouTube, though. The, um, only reason, the only reason I'm bigger is because. People think I can get them a game with this person, or that I know this person, the same oh. person in question, or whatever. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm chalking up 90% of my YouTube success in quotation marks, success to that because I'm pretty sure that if I never would have been miraculously modded in that guy's room, that that none, most of that never would have happened. I mean, I would have gained some, and but I'm pretty sure the majority of my subs came because of that. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it the hard way. We don't. Yeah. I don't sub for subs. That's where we get like most that. of our views. Actually, I post the links in his, uh, in his fucking chat, and you know, random people will sign on. And go. Oh, I wonder what this link is, and oh, it's HPFADC. Yeah, but the thing, you know, it, um, it's just so hard to get noticed on YouTube. Like so many people are doing it, and then yeah, everyone's doing know, it. No, and then and then and then how do you get your name out? You know, the only way. How do you how do you advertise that? You have, to, you have to get a hold of one of the ad. bigger guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to take out an ad on ESPN saying go to my YouTube channel. So you either hope to God that one of these bigger guys um, either hooks you up with a shout-out or you can band together with a bunch of little guys and hope you get noticed, but that takes forever. Or yeah. you, you go into other people's videos and you spam their chat box or their comment box. Oh, can you please check out my thing? And then everybody calls you a faggot and you <laughs> fucking and you get your comment marked as spam and that's it. You know. But, I mean, how else are you supposed to do it? Like there's no... Unless you get on a community channel, but then most community channels are small. Unless you're, you know, machinima. Yeah, so. that's that's. You don't have to tell me, dude. I'm fucking yeah. living it right now. <laughs> so I mean, what what? How do you get your name out there if you don't have some kind of connection? You know, you gotta. Well, besides, you know, don't be an asshole. But, you know, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, I can't, we have trouble with that because Pat's a fucking huge asshole. So. Wait, we'll man. probably never go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm over it. I would be I would be over it too if I was you because you know you're an asshole. Yeah, fuck yourself. Right now? You fucking yeah, fuck you, you fucking queer. I'll fuck you all night. Let's I know you will. I'm I'm waiting, man. You know you gotta tell me. I got the lube. Let's do it. All right, let's just turn gay. It's lube. Tyler, for, topic loops for, now. Loops for pussies, bro. You gotta go in there fucking hard, raw as fuck. <laughs> Make that shit burn. <laughs> See, and you call me gay for re reading some Craigslist ads, Pat, and uh, well, never mind. Um. <laughs> since you have, since you are bigger on YouTube, do you uh, do you have fans that like join your session in progress or like message you or like any a friend request you or anything like that? Uh, not really. I mean, I used to have a couple guys that would that would do that, but I mean, uh, recently I've only really had one. He's like real respectful. He just sends me a message like, "Hey, if you need one for Modern Warfare 2, because he doesn't play Black Ops, he's like, oh, if you need Modern Warfare 2, just um, send me you know request or whatever or invite, and that's fine." Uh, I used to have a couple guys that you know join my session it's kind of annoying but you know really I'm, i see like other people's youtubes like hutching them and i don't know how they deal with that shit i would just make i would never play on my main account if that was the case i would make a oh, second yeah. account i'll make a second account never post videos from it and just play on that shit by myself <laughs> because i would you know to get people always joining my shit and then hollering my name and all that stuff and which is why like i only tell you guys my real name because i don't want you know just in case it ever does get bigger than it is now I don't want people coming in and saying, oh, no, 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 you're a fag, you know. And yeah, find fag. out your real name or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly, because it's not, it's not yeah. worth it, you know. <laughs> do you uh, do you play solo or do you play with the team more often? I see you a lot of times with the team, but every once in a while I'll see you in like a solo video just by yourself playing. Um, the, most of the videos you see of me when I'm playing myself are probably older. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's really hard for me to enjoy any call, kind of Call of Duty by myself because – you know, you, randoms. You know how they are. They um, dumber than They're a box of fucking rocks. Fucking world. Yeah, they. It's, it's just you know, like I said in my other my other commentary. You know, um, YouTube and KDR stats have made Call of Duty this giant transforming mold of vaginas, and they don't want to die. They just want good scores. They don't give a fuck about winning. So, 
Yeah. You know, and then me, like, I care about winning. Like, the reason, like, if I really wanted to, I could start a new account, not play the objective. My win-loss will be, like, below one, and I'll probably have, like, a three-and-a-half kill-death ratio. Yeah. But I just can't do that. You know, I've always been a competitor, and I want to fucking win. I don't give a fuck. I, if it says lose at the end, I, it's a loss. I don't care a fuck how, how Yeah, good that's I, how I feel, too. Yeah, I don't give a fuck how good I did. So, um, if I'm not winning, like my boy Charlie Sheen, I just, I can't, I can't do it, so... Yeah. I, ha I got have tiger's to blood. Tiger's tiger, blood. I got tiger blood. <laughs> somebody, God, somebody, man. somebody is gonna make a fucking fortune selling shirts of Charlie Sheen's face with tiger blood on the bottom. I'll tell you right now, you're gonna see this shit a hot topic. A fuck. Or him biting into a tiger. A picture of Charlie Sheen w winning, winning on the bottom on the back. Tiger blood. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, is there, a, is there anything you think that uh, since you're a little bigger, like I keep saying, um, you think we could do anything? better on our episodes to uh, maybe even enhance it and make uh, everybody like the videos more? Uh, get Sony Vegas, number one. Shit, I'm working on it. <laughs> you got to get Sony Vegas, man. It's like, it really is like, and, and it's not hard to learn how to use it. Everything I learned to do on Sony Vegas, I learned from watching YouTube how-to videos. Mm. I, went, I went to school for creative advertising, right? I've learned yeah. more about Photoshop, InDesign, and Sony Vegas from watching YouTube videos than fucking my college taught me, my university. Because my, yeah. my yeah my university taught me theory on how to like huh. sell sell shit, but um when it came to actually hands on program stuff I learned more from YouTube which is sad because YouTube is free and my education was sixty thousand dollars but <laughs> you know oh I yeah I, Sony Vegas I'm working on you already you're gonna hook me up with that and uh, I think I can learn learn it pretty well I learned uh, everything else I have, that we've been doing all by on my own it's like through trial and error some stuff yeah. works some stuff doesn't work. I'll, I'll find it for you. I gotta, I gotta holler at Rebel. Rebel's my torrent guy, so. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Uh, are you looking forward to any uh, games that are coming out at all? Well, Homefront. Recent. Homefront. Yeah. Yeah. Me and you, me and you talked about that. I, I want to get Homefront just because it looks like Battlefield, and I've been playing uh, Battlefield on the PS3. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's different, but it's just it feel it's just different. It's just like a breath of fresh air. Like I can see Homefront being like that game I buy. And I know Pat, you probably feel the same too, because I know you're done with Black Ops already. But you, um, you know, you take home front, you play it for like a month and a half, and then something else comes, or you go back to Call of Duty. You know? Yeah, fresh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, a nice little uh, break from the bullshit. Yeah, exactly. That's how Battlefield always like, been so for me. I figure. Yeah, I figure. I figure. I'll, I'll like. I'll get. I'll play home front for a while. Uh, I'll probably make like a couple videos, and then I'll chill with that. And then I'll kind of be back and forth between the home front and Black Ops a little bit. And then, you know, and then Modern Warfare 3 comes out, and that would probably be a huge fucking chunk of shit. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to buy that one. Um, I'm going to buy it, but, you know, I'd, uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll wait for you guys to uh, tell me how I keep it is. saying I'm not going to buy games, and I wind up buying them. So I'm just not going to say anything about the game until after I've played it. <laughs> it it's, I don't know. It's just... It, Modern Warfare, I mean, not, well, not Modern Warfare, but uh, it's just Black Ops, and it just seems like they're never going to make the perfect game, and they're always going to leave certain things that, you know, the casual player wants, and then there's people like us who want other things. Yeah. You know, because obviously some people don't have a problem with Second Chance, and that's why you, you see it when you play, you know, so, and stuff like that. Like, um, I just saw a video now on Excalvid. He was playing against a team that four of the guys on the team had Second Chance Pro. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure that I'm pretty sure that wasn't a fucking accident. I'm pretty sure all those guys said, "Okay, let's run this so we can revive each other." Yeah, pretty much. And it's a it's a strategy to some point, but on the other hand, I mean, how what fun are you really having at you know at that point? It's it's. I mean, it's I, bullshit. I, I, I can understand the purpose, but you know, the, I think the annoyance level of all the other players uh, should overlap that strategy, which probably rarely fucking works. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a lack of sportsmanship, is what I how I've been describing it to people is this uh, use of like a uh, what I hate is flak jacket and second chance, and those two together feel like they give you more health. I don't know why, but it's it's ruined it for me, and it feels like a lack of sportsmanship, and that's what's kind of made me mad about Black Ops. Well, I mean, I don't I don't mind flak jacket. Flak jacket's like a pretty boss perk, but I mean, um, when it but second chance. First of all, when you go into second chance, for some reason, I feel like the fucking pistol shoots mini nukes. You know, <laughs> I don't, I, like seriously, I like today I got headshotted like three times by a fucking guy in second chance. Like I was about to fucking throw my Xbox out the window. You know, I just, I don't know. Yeah, it's, 
It's gotten bad. It's, it's bullshit. It's, That's what there's it is. some yeah. There's a lot of bullshit going on in that game, and I mean at a certain point you were the community's gonna have to say you know what, you know the good the our community the people we actually like and know how to play the game we're gonna say hey, we've had enough we're done with this shitty ass fucking nine year old made game these kids are complaining about you know this bullshit and having more life and all this other bullshit. And- what they really need to do is they need to make a fucking game for the more competitive serious gamers like us who uh, actually, you know, play every night and we don't use these fucking pussy perks and shit and it, it's fucking annoying to all ends about the, the fucking bullshit you see in these games. But, I mean, for, b- bullshit to us is something great for somebody else, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, uh, yeah. it's they, 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 and I understand they got to make it for, like, a, a total, like, an overall market, but I'm pretty sure there's some kids out there like, yeah, fucking second chance, I'm going to fucking show these guys what's up. <laughs> you know, and and uh, you know that's fine. It's just, you know, and then competitive gaming. Like I'll never do it ever. I just I, you know, I have, I just I'm too competitive for that. And games are supposed to be like this kind of like release. Yeah. You know, and then like shit. <laughs> yeah. It, no. Well, I mean, exactly. Is that you see? You've played with me before. You know how frustrated I get, and I know how oh, frustrated yeah. you get. So can you imagine? A- oh, he cut out. I think he cut out. Oh. We lost him. His mic's all messed up. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Yeah, uh, I know what he's saying, though. Um, I did a little bit of, you know, uh, competitive gaming for a while, and that was some of the most stressful, you know, time of quote-unquote relaxing I've ever had. Yeah. And it was it was terrible. I, I felt uh, anxious the whole time I was playing. I didn't like it, and it made me feel weird. I think we might have lost pandas. Um, we only have a little I'm bit here. left in the... Oh, there you are. You lost. Here, bro. I've always been here. Oh, sorry. I thought we you just randomly him. stopped talking, dude. Yeah. Because like Ty- Ty- Tyler's like, oh, well, I did, we lost him. We lost him. And then I look at the Skype call. I'm like, oh, it still says 43 minutes to me. We lost your we lost your mic, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's been cutting out. It's been kind of gay because I have to I had to get it on the Wi-Fi because I have to go outside. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. We appreciate it. If you want more Pandas, check out his channel. There's going to be a link to it. Um, thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, thanks again. Later, fruits. Okay. Bye, guys.